coming out of high school, um, I really didn't have any intention of going to college right away. So I told my father that um, I didn't want to go to college. And he said, I'll go and get you some luggage and we can pack and you can leave. And I decided I would go to college. Um, so J. Sergeant Reynolds was, was very convenient for me um, and a logical choice really not knowing what I wanted to do. And, um, I had a lady named Dorothy Harris as an accounting professor um, and she was an adjunct professor but very, very professional, um, focused on not just the meat of accounting but how you're supposed to behave and how you're supposed to act and, and be a professional. Um, and then the second was Don Isbell, uh, he's an, an economics professor. Um, but he taught you how to think, which is really what you need to be successful in, in the business world. Well, actually the accounting side is, is re really a small part of what a, a CFO does. It's really more about strategic thinking and, and helping um, agency leadership um, design a path on where you want to head and then make sure the resources are there and in the right place when you need them. Uh, so really the finance is just a small part of, of what you do as a CFO. My path was um, went straight to tech. I guess I would say I was more clueless. Uh, I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, you know, J. Sergeant Reynolds, the class sizes were relatively small. You generally had 20, 30 people. And then you get to tech and you walk into a lecture hall with 500 people in it. So it was, it was kind of culture shock in the beginning. But I think the community college gave me a good foundation in what I needed to know to be successful. I think some of the most engaging professors that I ever had were at the community college level. Um, so I had professors that were um, very successful in their field um, that gave me an insight not just to the material but to how the material mattered to, to their careers. Uh, I've been on occasion. Uh, I had a daughter that, that went there for a while. Um, it, it's just night and day. Um, it was really just one building and all my classes were right there and, and I pretty much stayed there all day and, and now it's more of a, a community. It's really neat to see how it's developed, how the investments have paid off. Um, so different than when I went there.